Hi, I'm Billy Maddox and welcome to another episode of Bookbinding Basics. Today we're gonna cover, essentially, covers. I figured I would do this video because I'm currently working on a project for field note style notebooks and I'm pulling covers from everywhere. So there's a number of different things that you can use as covers for your books, be it soft covers, hard covers, um, it all depends on what you want it to look like ultimately. Um, you could do something as simple as using a brown paper to do your covers or you can get a little bit inventive and do what I usually do and kind of hoard things. Things like shopping bags that I've gotten. This is from, I don't know, this is from Uniqlo and it was a Bandai kind of thing. I'm gonna eventually use this for a cover. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, a Toy Tokyo bag, obviously, um, there's book binding um, cloth uh, for, for hardcover books, but shopping bags are probably my favorite. All the little scraps and things that I've acquired along the way are being used. I actually have a few of them here. Uh, these were done with a lot of sort of, uh, you know, the little book that comes in loot crates. Sometimes they've got cool imagery. And I figured, well, they're small, so I can make small notebooks out of them. And that's pretty much it. Another thing that's pro that just came up, and it was in a video that I did last week, was uh, this old calendar that I had lying around. I sort of showed it in that video. I guess I'll link it somewhere, um, where I made a cover from one of the sh from one of the uh, one of the month's uh, images. I used that for a cover. As you can see in the top down, there's a number of books that I've already made using everything from plastic bags onto glued onto hardcover bags. Um, other shopping bags, uh, cloths, um, even wrapping paper, if it's thick enough, uh, or certain types of papers, if they're thick enough, could be used as actual covers. And, you know, you can go crazy. So I just wanted to make a short video reminding you that you don't need the absolute best materials. You need the best materials for your project. And for me, a lot of times it's found objects. I like that aspect of making. Sometimes you get inspired by a thing that you see and wanna make a cover out of it. I've got a notebook that looks similar to this that you saw on the top down. I like that kind of thing. So go crazy. I'll be back in another Book Binding Basics episode six, I think, where I'll show you how to do those field notes style books. Um, and you can make them at home out of things you probably have lying around. Uh, yeah, just a quick video. Just wanted to say that. Thank you so much for watching and roll the thing.